guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. We are finally going to be diving into my faith planner and how I use it. I want to do a few plan with me's, I guess, or faith plan with me videos. But um, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But this is going to be all about the faith planner that I have. Now, you've heard me mention this plenty of times in the other videos. But um, this is a faith planner that I have. You can't really see it. It's a little bit holographic. But um, I got this from Michaels. Um, it's a recollection brand. And I'm going to quickly show you guys the information. So um, here's all the information. It's recollections 2999. Nine faith spiral planner it's an undated planner and um here's what the inside of it looks like and that's all that's included you can check out the information by pausing the video but um i'm gonna walk through with you guys my thoughts now i've used this planner now for two weeks i'm in my third week of using it if i'm not mistaken yeah i started using it july 2nd um and it is currently as i'm making this video it is wednesday july 18th so I've used this planner now for about two and a half weeks and I am loving how I'm using it I do think however next year I want to go into a horizontal instead of a vertical I love this vertical layout um, I love the layout in general because the way it, it's broken down you have um, basically two boxes the top box is for your daily verse and then it has this weird thing that says scripture study I'm not sure exactly what it's for but I don't know, I'm trying to wait to see if I find a video where someone else has this planner and uses it. But um, under scripture study, there's a box for observation, and then it says, I pray today. And then you get um, a self-improvement goal section, a gratitude section, two blank boxes, and like a list on the side that you can like write whatever. So I love the layout of this. Um, I just find that sometimes it's not enough space. And I found that was the case on Monday. Monday, I had to uh, pile my scripture over into the second box, and it really wasn't that much of a problem, but, um, you know, I am following a scripture reading plan, I guess you can say, on the Holy Bible app from Joyce Meyer. It is the 30-30 plan that she has going on, 30-30 challenge. Um, so it's 30 scriptures for 30 days, and it's pretty much one verse, sometimes two, um, but this past Monday, there was actually three verses. So, you know, depending on how long the verses are, or how small or big I write, I have problems fitting it into one box. But overall, I love this uh, planner. I'm loving the paper quality of the planner. I find that it's a good quality paper. It holds a lot of good gel pens. It holds the Paper Mate and Joy gel pens well, the G2, the Pilot G2 gel pens well. It holds a Sharpie pen well. And um, it kind of sort of holds the zebra mild liners pretty well. Um, the only thing is, I guess because I tend to go over multiple times with my highlighters, um, it can bleed through. And that was the case last week. It bled through. Um, yeah, it definitely bled through. But I was able to hide that. So, I mean, it depends. But I'm going to walk with you guys how I've been using this planner. Again, I love this planner. I find that it's been a crucial thing for me because I haven't been sticking to my devotionals. And I'm going to do a video all about that soon. But um, I haven't been sticking to my devotionals as I should, um, like I used to do, because I've just been overwhelmed with everything going on um, with Daughter of Increase. But um, doing the 3030 Challenge by Joyce Meyer really has been helping me to keep the word solidified in my life though I might not be able to do my personal studies or do my personal devotionals um, I'm still working on a complete layout but I think I'm gonna do a monthly plan with me for August and maybe do a weekly plan with me for next week but I'm gonna stop rambling and um, just show you guys the inside of my faith planner okay guys so here is the planner up close you guys can see the holographic rainbow detailing I really like it but like I said um, I don't know if I did mention this, can't remember, <laughs> but it's a sort of almost cornflower blue, and it's kind of like it has clouds in it. I really like that. Um, it says, Faith, Blessed, Love, and Peace with floral prints. The holographic is really nice. It can be overbearing at times, but I really do like the design of it. Um, and the back of it just says, Faith Can Move Mountains. And quickly showing you the package one more time before I completely toss it because I've showed this to you so many times. Um, 
Here it is, Recollections Creative Year Faith Spiral Planner, US $29.99, Canadian $45.99, and um, this is what the back of it looks like. Here's how the inside of the planner basically looks when they set it up and did it. But um, yeah, I'm tossing that to the side now. So this is the planner that I use every morning when I wake up. Um, once I do my prayer, I will open up my planner, open up the Holy Bible app, and do a devotional. And I'll speak to you guys about that soon. But let's open it up. So here is how the inside cover looks. I love it. I'm in love with this floral print. Oh, love this flower. It has the serve symbol, which kind of looks like a fish. When I first saw it, I thought it meant fish until I got sticker books and it said serve. So now I know that this is the serve symbol. <laughs> um, it says full of faith. Here is the kind of main page. It says rejoice and worship 18 month planner. I just stuck some stickers and I, all of these are from Dollar Tree. Um, no, actually these, I believe are from Walmart. All of them are from, actually they're all from Walmart if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> But um, it just says Nazanese 2018 to 2019, and I just stuck with black for my name, blue for the um, date for the year. Sorry, and then this is purple, but I don't really know. Whatever. Um, then you get four columns of a scripture reading chart. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it. Um, like how I'm gonna use it. My idea initially was to um, just write down when I read a certain book of the Bible, like. Put the date that I started, write down um, the book that it is, check it off once I'm finished, and then like put the month and the year next to it when I finish it. But then I thought, since I have four columns of that, that I could do like, because uh, since I want to study so many things, so like I can use one column for like word studies that I want to do and write them down. And um, then put them, the you know, when I start it and then when I complete it do character studies because there are certain people um in the book of the bible that i want to study like i've already started studied esther and ruth so i can write them two down and check them off and then use these specifically for like book studies which are like studying the gospels and uh revelation and stuff like that because there are certain books that i want to read in a specific order so i don't know if that's how i'm going to use it let me know how i should use it you guys i'm not really sure because i don't really do a lot of scripture reading plans um i do devotional apps but even then with those i don't know so if you have any ideas on how I should utilize this, let me know because I want to make use of this page. But um, before I show you that, I do want to show you how the month begins and how it looks. So here's how the beginning of each month looks. Um, it's basically a note section and a pink box with some lines. It says prayer request. I don't know if you guys can see that. Then you get your divider uh, tab, I guess you can say. The tab is blank on the front and the back. Your month is blank, um, but you will see the same color scheme with the purple, the pink, and then this kind of teal color all throughout the planner. Um, so you get five weeks on the calendar with a note section and an empty box. And then your weeks look like this. It says Monday through Sunday. No dates are in, so you write those dates yourself. And then it says daily verse. I'm actually going to zoom in quickly. So at the top. You can't really see it because it's like gray, but um, it says daily verse in one box. And then it has the scripture study section. I have no idea exactly what that is, you guys. Don't know what it's for, but I always block it out. And then it says observation, so you get that box for that. I prayed today, so that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'll zoom back out for you guys. And then you have this little pink box here. You have some note lines here, then a gratitude section, two empty boxes. And then over here, you get this section that says self-improvement. And um, pretty much it's kind of like goals and then the seven days of the week with check boxes. That's the whole layout. So going back to my month of July, here it is. So for July, I did not know how I was going to use this section. I have a, a idea in my head now, so I'll show you guys that when I get to August, when I set August up. But um, I just have my July studies and read. So the books that I'm studying, the books that I'm reading, I wrote down some things that I wanted to pray for for the month. And then here's the first kind of divider. So it says forgiven and not forsaken with, I believe that's a filigree design. Um, but here is what the monthly looks like. And the monthly is all screwed up because I have changed some things around. But um, pretty much I had everything on here so that I knew what I was doing as far as the Daughter of Increase Facebook group because we do a book club and a Bible study every month. And um, 
I realized for next month I'm going to use it for more than just the Facebook group. I'm going to also use it to track when I need to do a specific Instagram post or a, a blog post or have a book review done because a lot goes on. But um, in my notes section here, I just put some video ideas down, things that I wanted to remember, and then I stuck a homemade sticker here. So that's how I use the monthly view. Um, these stickers here are from the Faith Happy Planner sticker pack as well as this one, this one, and this one. Um, these stickers here from Monday and Friday are from one of the Happy Planner original stickers that went, the original ones that came out before they made the 30 page stickers, like when they had five sheets. That's where those are from. These are from a sticker company that I um, used to work for, used to work with. And like I said, this is homemade. So that's that. Here's the first week. I started it Monday, July 2nd, um, since the first was a Sunday. And this is how the week turned out. Um, I like it. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to use it. So I stuck a sticker here, wrote out the dates at the top, and then I would put the verse at the top. Then I would stick a sticker if I had space and also another sticker to write down the scripture. Um, and then for observations, I would just stagger my bullet points and write my thoughts out. I was putting a sticker over here of five things that I wanted to specifically pray for. A weekly to do this my gratitude which would go from Monday to Saturday since I'd be in church on Sunday two stickers here and then this is a section that I really wanted to focus on trying to figure out how I wanted to utilize that because there's so many possibilities so the first week I did pray gratitude every day devotionals Bible study and reading and um, I liked it but I felt like pray why would I put pray if there's a checkbox here for I pray today so I switched it up for the next week so, pretty much this stamp is a no-go. I just like that stamp um, so much. But um, I stuck with the same kind of thing here. But instead of using a checklist, I just put an actual to-do list sticker here. So, five things or five people that I want to pray for. My five or top four to-dos that I wanted to do throughout the week. Obviously, my gratitude here, which goes from Monday through Saturday since it's enough for six spaces. Um... Just some decorative stickers because I'm not sure how I want to utilize those empty boxes. Um, and then I switched it to Daily Gratitude, Devotionals, Bible Study, Read, and the 30-30 Challenge. Um, I took Pray Out just because I do that here. But I still felt like it was too much because the 30-30 Challenge is a kind of Bible reading devotional from the Holy Bible app. And I felt like I could encompass that with my regular devotionals since I do all my devotionals in the morning. So I still wasn't satisfied with that. So I looked up some different things that like are like spiritual habits and there was things like journaling, meditating. Um, and then I ran across one that said intentional prayer and that one kind of sparked my interest. But um, going back to the first week, because I've totally forgot. So this first week, I really didn't have a color scheme, honestly. Um, I just stuck washi tape and stickers down, pretty much. But the pen that I used was the Paper May Ink Joy uh, gel pen in the point seven. This was in this kind of like, I don't even know if this is magenta. Kind of like a magenta color, I guess you could say. But I used that on here to write, and then I used these zebra mild liners to underline like keywords within the scriptures. If you guys can see that. Keywords, I underlined it. And then um, whatever color I used to underline was the color that I main, like, mainly used to focus on for my stickers. So that's pretty much how that went. So like I used the purple here, so I did purple stickers and mint. Pink here, so I did pink stickers. This one was like a nice green, so I did green and gold. Um, I used a cornflower blue, so I used, you know, stickers correlating to that. So that's how that went. For this week that I was telling you guys about, I used the teal paper mate ink joy pen and um pretty much good same kind of concept but this week i stuck to specific colors based off of this washi tape because it's pink teal um it had a little bit of mint green and some yellow black and white so that's kind of what i went with but um i still stuck with the stickers correlating to the actual highlighter so here i used pink so i had a pink sticker i used yellow so i used yellow stickers green actually it was mint uh mint green i guess not mint green but like a it was a nice light green, basically, so I did green. Here was mint, so I used till and mint, uh, purple, and so forth. So that's pretty much how that worked, but I used that pen. But, um, yeah, I, I felt like, you know, the 30-30 challenge went with the devotionals, and I, I ran across, like I said, those different habits, so intentional prayer really stuck out to me. But um, I felt like I had a grasp on how to use this because I started to stagger how I was doing my verses. So, like, before... 
in the previous week I just would write the verses at the top stick some stickers and my observations I stuck to the layout this week was pretty different um, the first two days I stuck to the layout but then I said let me try staggering so I did that sticker verse scripture observations obviously scripture the verse stickers observation scripture verse and so forth like that so i thought that was like nice and i was able to utilize a lot of these stickers like i said are from the stickers that i i use um and i'll show you guys the stickers i use shortly but then here's the current week that we're on and i just wrote out the verses for this week just in case i couldn't get to my phone or something i could just look them up in my bible but um this week i used this pen it's the pilot g2 07 and it's the pink so i've been using this really good uh quality and um the same ordeal here prayer changes things so the five things i wanted to pray for i could only think about three right now um the things that i wanted to do for the week which it's already wednesday i have not completed any of this honestly um but my gratitude for the week i only have monday and tuesday i didn't do wednesday yet and um different thing that i did was i separated the i prayed section from the observation section so that's another thing that i did different um if you guys can see here i didn't do that differently i just like use the highlighter to mark it off but this week i actually decided to utilize washi tape and i like how it came out um and here's the section that i changed so i have gratitude intentional prayer devotional slash journaling because i do want to get back into doing faith journaling outside of prayer journaling um bible study and then read so intentional prayer is different from just my regular praying regular praying is like i can get up in the morning and say a prayer um and that's me saying that i prayed for the day but intentional prayer is me writing out an intentional prayer for something or someone so i'm focusing heavily all the things that i put in this section here so like my little my baby brother riley um i haven't seen him in god knows how long months now i haven't been able to speak to him um unfortunately and i'm a little concerned about him and i, I want to pray for him and i can easily just pray out loud something quick and simple but i find that when i write my prayers out i'm more intentional with them and they're 10 times more powerful and meaningful than me just spewing something out of my mouth um that's just because i tend to think a lot more before i write and sometimes when i pray i just pray to just pray um so i have like my baby brother i want to pray for him my church because i haven't really prayed for my church though intentionally um, you know, we all pray for our churches, but I haven't been intentional with my prayers, targeting specific things for specific people. So I felt like that was something that I could really work on. And I wasn't able to do it on Monday. So um, I'm definitely going to be doing that the rest of the week, being intentional about that. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it that was changed from last week. Um, other pens that I use are like the RSV Pentel. That's what this ink is. This is black ink. I use the RSV Pentel Fine Point, which is a .7 pen. And then I also use the Sharpie pen to uh, write on my stickers. Um, if they're like a super glossy sticker, I will write on top of it with my Sharpie marker. But most of the time, it's just a Sharpie pen. So it does really well with different types of um, pens and markers. So I appreciate that. And I guess I can show you guys the rest of the dividers. So here is for August. Um, and again, they don't normally come with these uh, tabs on them. I have to put the stickers on them so the tabs are blank. But this is will be for August. September says be still and no. October is just the Serb symbol, kind of like the inside cover. November, I really like it. It's purple and it just has different encouraging things. So, um, let your light shine, courage, be still, grace abounds in deep water, fearless, always blessed, mine forever. I am not alone. I can do all things, worship, grow in the light, believe, choose joy, praise. There is no light without, and I'm pretty sure that's going to say Jesus. Um, you have some that says faith can move mountains. So it's just repeating a lot of encouraging words. So I like that. And this is December, which is so freaking pretty. I really want this print. If someone knows where I can get this print from, please let me know. Because it is so stinking adorable. But um, So here are how the tabs originally look. They're blank with nothing on. So this would be January. This would be February. 
March, if I'm not mistaken, right? January, February, yes, March. <laughs> I do not like this print, like, whatever. I, I don't care for it at all, so I think I'm going to put, like, stickers all on this for March. I just don't like it. Um, April, which are, like, little crosses, so cute. May, fishers of men with cute little fish. I just think it's so adorable. <laughs> I think this would be June. I lost count. I kind of like this one better than the other one, honestly. This I think it's because of the white background. I don't care for it. I think if it was purple with the white floral, fine. Because I like how this one looks. And it's pretty much the same. Yeah, it's the same the same um, thing. Here's that flower and there it is again. I think if they made it purple with the white florals like they did this one, it would be better. But whatever. I like that watercolor kind of thing going on. Let light shine with the sun. I like that. Grace, blessings, joy, and joy and peace and thankful. And this is pretty much the color scheme. Pink, green. Um, it's like a light green with like a tealish mint blue and then purple are the color. There goes that floral that I'm loving. I prefer that one over that one. Another divider, and I think this is the last one, which I think is cute as well, but I like the pink one better. Yeah, that's the last one. So, like, again, you get your month, and then you get five weeks since there's, you know, five weeks already. So, one, two, three, four, five. But for some reason, they messed up. I guess this was, like, an extra in this planner. So, like, yeah, they added an extra page. I'm probably going to take this one out or, like, glue this to this. I don't know. But then you get into the stickers that come with the planner. So, um, these are kind of like your monthly banner stickers, which I have already used August. I mean, July already. So, you get two of each month. Right, two of each month, if I'm not mistaken. Then you have these stickers here, which I've only used one. But um, it just says, Faith can move mountains, choose your path. Again, it says the same thing. These are blank kind of square um, rectangle stickers with ovals in them. This one says, Seize the day, keep your eyes on him. Stand tall, grace abounds in deep waters. These are habit trackers, so that's pretty cool. I might do that for like a challenge. I don't know yet. Um, this one says, Thankful. Banners, which say, Faith like a seed. It should say, Faith like a mustard seed, but uh, whatever. Uh, a little heart with a cross in it. This just says rejoice and worship. Um, some stars. This one says superstar. And just some basic ones. Circle checklist. I mean, I mean so circles with check marks. Sorry about that. More circles. These say way to go. This says belief. You are great. Some hexagons. More banners. So I like that they, they know what kind of stickers people like with the hexagons and the banners. A lot of us love those stickers. Then you have like your basic kind of stickers that come with like the Aaron Condren a lot. Um, I've had two or three. I've had actually four Aaron Condrens, I believe. <laughs> yeah, four Aaron Condrens and two Happy Planners as well as a Color Crush Planner. So a lot of these stickers are like basic. I know for a fact in the Aaron Condren where you would get these pages, like four or three pages with like different stickers. So these say scripture study, service project. These are blank. These are all pray for. Church activity, don't forget. Felt inspired in choir practice. Um, I'm glad that this has service projects because I did join the administration um, team board on at my church. So I do have quite a lot of things to do. Um, not so much, but I also work with my first lady. I'm doing a few things for her. So it's, it's, I'm, I'm happy those stickers are there. Yep. I, choir practice, I don't sing in the choir anymore. I did as a kid, but um, I'm more so in the dance ministry. That's what I like. So I might just use it for practice, for dance rehearsals when I start going to those. And then you get your tab stickers, which you guys see I've already used some of those. But then you get one that says notes and then a blank one. Then these are little checks and stars. More habit trackers here. These say prayer request. Um, and then these are like little yay stickers, which are cute just to like mark something. You get a double-sided pocket folder. Um, and I love this. It says you can shine like the sun. And I think it's so cute because like the sun does shine light. But the son of God, S-O-N, 
also shines light to God. So I just thought that was so cute. But in the pocket, um, what's in the pocket actually? <laughs> I have these page flags here that I got from Etsy. These are powerful prayers for your husband from Flourish. So it's a Sunday through Saturday kind of thing. You can pray for strength, marriage, thriving, their wisdom, thanksgiving, fruitfulness, and safeguards. Um, I'm not married to him yet. We are engaged. We've been engaged now um, for a while. We've been together for six years, just about six years come September. Um, sorry, not September. August? September? August? <laughs> ah, my brain. But we've been together almost six years. And, um, you know, I am quite excited to become his wife so i do pray for him i use these as like prayer starters when i don't know what to pray um so is there anything else in this pocket no and i think i'm going to actually like put these in the planner i don't know yet we'll see but on this side i just have some stickers that came from an old uh planner that i got my mom her planner had came with stickers and she doesn't use them so i had cut them out of her her planner and used them so I was using the hearts this past week, and um, I can show you guys the hearts that I'm talking about. So these little hearts here came from he here. The little peach ones are missing, so that's that. And then I have one of these uh, Japanese kawaii calendar planner stickers. Um, this actually came with, I think, three three sheets but um i figured these would be great for the monthly section for august so i'm just keeping them in here to remember to use them um and then it comes with a pocket like a zip pocket folder pocket folder a zip pouch sorry and i just have some homemade uh planner stickers the ones on the back are printed on regular paper so i do have to like glue them in or stick them down with double-sided sticky tape or a tape runner and the ones on this side are done on avery label sheet so i can just take the back off and place them these are also kind of like the same thing as this uh japanese style kawaii calendar stickers and then here's the back of the planner the back inside cover it says swallow his lead with the pink flower and the back so that is the planner that i use i absolutely love this planner it is life it is gorgeous but i'm going to quickly show you guys these stickers that i use so i use these stickers here let me close this planner up actually so i do use these stickers and these stickers are actually from recollections they're faith planner stickers um i bought two but this is a pack that i'm currently using so it kind of looks like this um, here's the first sheet, and it's holographic. I don't know what it is with them, and they're holographic. I think that's their thing. But, um, here's that one. So you get two of every sheet. You guys can see I've been using the Bibles and stuff. I use the hearts today. These, I think, are awesome to use if you're, like, into Bible journaling and writing in your Bible. And then the last two pages are kind of like your quotes and phrases so those are the stickers that i like to use um i have these here which are from the paper studio this is a grateful thankful blessed sticker pack um they're foil sheets phrases words icons and alphabets so i'm going to start from the last page so you have your alphabets in numbers in the blue and i'm loving that and i really do like this sticker pack uh here i'm loving the floral this is my favorite ah favorite 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 i love it so much and i think my favorite print in general is their floral print in now throughout here it's just so gorgeous and this gold uh marble on this black and white stripe is amazing that floral print again florals but um i have that one and it was only seven bucks from Happy Lobby. I can't remember if I got this from. I think I got that one from Hobby Lobby. Um, the one from Recollections, obviously Michaels. This was Hobby Lobby. I have the Agenda Fifty Two ones. This is a Sunday Fun Day. This is a Faith Foil. They're both foiled, honestly. This one just has a uh, rose gold and gold foiling, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's that rose gold. It's not even rose. It's like a pinkish gold foiling on it with the gold love that and then this one is also like gold foiling 
You guys have seen me flip through this if you saw my first sticker haul. But I uh, love these stickers so much. I also have the Carpe Diem Faith sticker pack. Um, I think I'm going to go back and get the mini one as well because they come in like the regular... I guess this would be like a classic A5 size sticker pack. Um, they look like this. They're just paper stickers. They're really nice. But I have that one. Then, like I said, I have my Happy Planner ones. The mini one and the classic size. This obviously says mini, so I love these so much. So, so much. And I have a backup, but let me just show you guys how much I love this sticker pack. The ones in the back are not really used up, but like this page is used up, that one, that one. Like I just, I love this sticker pack so much. And then the last one that's like faith related that I have is this one, which is the American Craft one, which I think this one was from Hobby Lobby as well. So those are the stickers that I utilize and the pins. I mean, any type of pin really works. I'm a, a gel pen lover, so I use gel pens a lot. Um, the Pilot G2s and the Paper Mates are really, really good. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review and how I utilize this. If you do want to see a uh, kind of faith plan with me on how I set up the month and my notes page and how I do a weekly spread before I write in it, let me know and I can do one of those videos. I did actually record one, but then I deleted it because I didn't like the quality. Um, so let me guys, let me know if you guys are interested in that kind of video and I can do that for you. But uh, if you have any other questions, concerns, or comments, let me know. I know that they do have a mini version of this specific planner. Um, there's a different cover on it and it's a mini version, but I really want the mini version because the inserts are actually like devotional scripture study kind of like inserts. So I'm looking for that. You can definitely find these on the website on um, the Michael's website. Uh, but yeah. That's pretty much it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!